Hello, in this video today we will keep showing a few more things about the new byte render. Today what we will do is uh, byte render from multiple uh, designs. So to make it quick, what I will do, I will go to my collections and I already have here the files that are inside um, inside Matrix Goal. So I will get some cathedrals so I can get this one. So once I get this, what I will do now is just be sure that I'm using the layers as I want it. All right. So uh, what I will do for this uh, byte render is I will keep always the shank uh, in one layer and the setting in another layer so I can do different combinations. So what I will do is just select this, this, and this, and just keep them all together in this layer. And then I will choose this one, this one, and I will keep them in the metal too. So I will try to follow always the same, the same flow. So then when I uh, add all these models into my uh, byte render, always the materials will be the same. All right. So what I will do now is just also do the same with the stones. So I will select these stones here and these stones here. And I will place them in the gems 03, this one's in the gems 02, and then the center stone, it's already good on where it is. Okay, now I will do a full save of that. Okay, so there we go, we have the first one. Now let's go and open another one. Again, I will go to collections, rings. I will also will use this one. I can open it as a new document uh, because at the end of the day I save it here and this is the one that I will be using. So I will do the same. I will put this in the metal one. Also this one. And again this and this on the metal two. All right, stones. On the three layer for gems. And these ones on the layer two. Cool. All right, so we have the second model to do, to do a byte render. I will probably open a couple more. So what I will do now is I will change from category and I will go to, let's see what I have in bypass. So in bypass, I can get to say this one, open. Perfect. And what I will do with this is just get this part and this part to be sure that we have it in the metal one. Oh, I forgot this. Metal one. And this one we'll put it into the metal two. Stones, I will use this and this. This one and this one. I will keep it in the metal, in the gems two. This stones here and these stones here in the gems three and the other one it's okay in the metal in the gems in the center gem all right so we already have three different models and now i will get the last one multi-stone what do we have in multi-stone all right some of those will be great good to go let's get this one import actually what i will do is an open Nope. So I get just uh, the file that I need, not the both of them. There we go. And the only thing that I will do with this one is just bring this to the metal too. So, okay. So it seems that everything is ready. I will do a full save. And what I will do next is just go to the, the byte render. So I go to the byte render from render go to my render 
And here is where I start to choose everything. The first thing that I will do is uh, just load some of the batch uh, renders that I already have. All right, so I will go and we'll get the uh, ring for view. So this is something that I already saved. And what I will, what happens when I do that is that I already get the views that I'm interested in. Of course, that I have here a model that I'm not interested with. So what I will do is just get rid of this one. And what I will do now is add the four that we have saved. All right, so when I get this, if I open that, I will get rid of this one. So I have, as you can see, the full save one, two, three, and four with the layers that we already have set down here. So let me work with the layers now. We don't have any purple, we don't have any setting one. So let's get rid of this one. I also have to do the metal one. I would also like to have three different colors. I would like to have the white gold and also I can try the rose gold to see how it looks like. All right, so we have the rose gold, the white, and the yellow. On the gem too, that is actually the ones that we have always surrounding the halos. I will use the diamonds, and I don't know, here I can go a bit wild. And yeah, these two, it's okay. Actually, let me add emeralds. On the gem one, I want different um, stones, so I'll get the diamond, the emerald, and also why not the ruby. There we go. So for, for the center stone, as you can see here, I'm already getting 432 renders. That's that's wild because I have all these for this. I'm oh, sorry, I have I have missed one. So look how many renders I'm getting if I do that. So that's a lot. We will probably will have to narrow it down. And I will go, because I'm doing this for a video, uh, I'm going to uh, HD resolution. And I'm missing here still the stones, the stones uh, three. So I will go the stones three. And for this one, because I don't want to add more uh, renders, I will go just with diamonds. Okay, let me just narrow down some of those. So probably what I will do on the gems one is go to two stones. So I get rid of the ruby. And what I will also do, I'm just trying to reduce the number of renders that I'm having here. So for the gems two, I will get rid of the diamond. So. I will get just the uh, Alexandrite and the diamond. So if we have to have one with all in diamonds, we will have this. So now we are in 192. All right, so 500 passes, is uh, it's okay. So now I'm ready to click the render batch. All right, so now the byte render is over, it's finished. Let me bring the folder where I have been saving all the different renders that I have taken. You you can see them in white and black. Uh, this is because I saved them in PNG, so I didn't want any background. And if I just try to make them bigger, look how many did I get. So this is the renders that I got with all the different combinations after I was uh, putting all the materials and everything. As I said, this is in black because it's a PNG. Let me just bring one of those. Look at this. So you see, you have all the different views. You have different combinations of the stones. So this is the one that I took with the blue the sapphire in, in the center and the amethyst on the halo. Then everything in diamonds so i just uh, put in the render batch the options that i like and then 
the bait render did everything by itself. So now I start with all the different combinations, but with the yellow shank, and I keep going with the different combinations for the stones, as you can see. So it's a super helpful tool. Uh, you can launch many, many pictures just from, look at this one, just from the bite render. So you just need to put the materials that you want to have the combinations and then let the bite render do everything. So I hope that you like this video. As you can see, it's a super useful tool from Matrix Hall. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.